Hello, this is Itachi Uchiha, Kisame Hoshigaki, Gora of the Desert, Hinati Huga, Neji Huga, Arajimaru, Sasuke Uchiha, Azelf, Mesprit, Yuxi, Batman, and the Joker. The world will be watching. Oh dear God, sweet Lord, baby Jesus, born on a manger, what has this world come to? I don't even know. I really don't even know. Oh, dear Christ. The Hunger Games Part 2 Catching Fire was released a while back, as in yesterday. It sucks balls. No, it doesn't. I went to actually see the movie. It was a really good movie. It had such wonderful characters, great acting, and the plot was just spot-on gorgeous. How can a plot be gorgeous? Shut up, Neji. Okay, The Hunger Games 2 Catching Fire. So the first one, they made it. It sucked, and they made a shit zillion bucks. Yeah, they made it. Fantastic. They made it. Good job. And you fuckers went in and bought the ticket as if you got nothing better to do. The world will be watching. Yeah, right. Thanks a lot, guys. Fuck the world. Fuck the people. Fuck everything. Fuck everyone. Fuck the planet. Fuck everything to ever exist. It's all shit. People must realize by now that the Hunger Games is balls. And can you even see my eye there? Yes, you can. Itachi, it's time for picture updates. I know, I know, I'm working on it. The Hunger Games Part 2, Catching Fire, will never hold a candle to what I did in The Dark Knight. I cannot, what I can't wait to see is the results of the movie when it comes out, like, you know, the thing out of 10. Sure, it'll be, like, just as bad as the last one. What was that, like a 7 out of 10 or something? Something like that. Well, I like The Hunger Games Part 2 Catching Fire, and here's why. Because there's such a great rendition of children there, it is not even funny. It's like, man, there's so many children gathered in one place. It's, it's a heaven for a guy like me, because it's just easy to pick one out, like, hmm, that one looks like they have a rocking body. The children, Neji, the children, the children! Fuck the children. Fuck them. Thank you. Fuck the children. That's what I said to Nintendo when they wanted me. You know what I mean? Wanted me to like. Uh, my original design involved me having the middle my middle finger sticking up. Yeah, they, Nintendo didn't like that, and my response was "fuck the children." I don't like the children. They get in the way. And the Hunger Games, or two catching fire, treats you like a child, and here's why: it censors the violence. The Hunger Games, if they really wanted to, they can make it a solid R rating. But they're not going to do that. Because if they made The Hunger Games a R rated movie, any of them, they're, they're, there's a little something that would cut out all the 15 and 16 year olds that are going to see it. That kind of cuts into their precious little profit, don't you think? Oh, I see where you're coming from. If the profit gets cut into, they're not making as much cash. Yeah, do you think Jennifer Lawrence is going to donate the profits of this movie to some tribe in Africa or something? Or a charity that sponsors coats to give to homeless people? No, she's not going to. She's going to go out, buy fucking music, buy download fucking 8 million movies for her iPod. The only thing Jennifer Lawrence cares about is Jennifer Lawrence. And who plays PETA again? I don't know. We didn't do much research on this topic. This is my, this is this is actually supposed to be the one for the first one. And speaking of which, Isabel Furman will be sorely missed in this one. Oh Jesus, she's gone. Isabel Furman? Yeah, she played Clove in the first movie. She was like the only good part, remember? Oh yes, sir. I liked her. She was okay. She was too tyrannical. You and your tyrannical bullshit. Oh my god, here we go. Let's not talk about her, okay? She is... She is... Uh, Where's she off to right now? Walking in a winter wonderland. Oh, speaking of that, we missed our birthday. Fuck! Ugh, forget it. Yeah, Isabel Furman, as hot as she is, we'll forget about her. 
She's like 16, and I'm 21. What's the point, Kasame? I'm a 21-year-old shinobi. I got killed. I'm an undead 21-year-old. An old dead 21-year-old is allowed to like 16-year-olds, right? No. Well, you're like 37, remember? Yeah, and yeah. Let's not, let's not talk about that, okay? Oh, dear God, Hinata. That was repulsive! Repulsive! What the fuck is wrong with you? You asked that my French kissed you, and now you ask it again? Yeah, okay, you know, it's a bad memories, bad memories, bad memories for Kisame Hoshigaki. Bad memories, okay? You... <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I get the joke now. Joker! The sexual truth of dare crap was all your fault! I know, I'm a terrible human being. But that's why the fan girls love me. Hate Ledger is dead. I don't care. The Joker lives on, Itachi. The Joker lives on. How ironic. The guy who played the Joker in 1989 and the Joker died at the end of that movie is still alive, Jack Nicholson. And Heath Ledger is dead and his Joker survived. Oh, that is kind of funny. You know what else is funny? The schmucks are going to see catching fire. If... If you go into this movie, you are a testament of a schmuck. What you are is you are a complete... You, okay. You just... You basically go in there and finger Jennifer Lawrence's pussy for her, as she will no doubtly buy a dildo with her money. Mm. Maybe some Hustler magazine. So I can see Jennifer Lawrence walking into a store with her profits from this movie, not donating it to the children of Africa, and instead going, Hey, Mr. Hustler magazine, can I have a mag male stripping magazine and go into the back room for five minutes? Oh, yeah, I can see that happening. Jennifer Lawrence is a piece of shit. She can't act to save her life. She's like the modern-day Kristen Stewart. How old is Kristen Stewart? Who knows, and who cares? I liked Kristen Stewart. Oh, you like everything, Hinata. Every fucking thing imaginable you like. It's ridiculous. You're a piece of crap. Um, I got a question for Itachi. What's your question? Um, why do you think they moved the camera all around like a nut job in the first movie of The Hunger Games? Why did they do that? I'm not smart enough to pick up on this. All that. Well, they jerked the camera around just like they jerked off their cocks. They don't care about us. They don't care if you can see what's going on. They just don't care. Because if you saw what was going on, it would give the movie a slapping R rating, thereby cutting out half of its audience and losing their precious profit. That's why most stupid action movies these days are PG-13. White House Captured, or whatever that movie was called. That was rated PG-13. It's just generic. What's the theme of this? It's like, what the fuck? It's like all these movies and action movies these days are about the White House falling down. Oh, yes. And North Korea is the bad guy. How fucking stereotypical is that? With North Korea being the bad guy. Ugh. North Korea. You know, I almost knew a guy in North Korea... His name was Kim Jong-un or something. I think he's the leader of it now. Yeah, we're still in good contact. Really? Yeah. Well, can you tell Kim Jong-un I want to punch him in the face? Just do that for me, please. Mm, why? It's folks like that that give the Japanese a bad name. People see people from Korea and go, Oh, look, it's a fucking Japanese person. No, 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 no. I messed that analogy up big time. People see a person from Japan and go, Oh, it's a fucking North Korean douchebag. People from Japan are great. I like Japanese people. Uh, I'm more of a fan of Chinese. I like Japanese people, too. Who cares about this fucking heritage? We live in Japan, and most of us are fucking white, for Christ's sake. The thing about my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. Never do that again. And speaking of which, what are you, Kasame? I'm blue. Dabu dee dabu da. Dabu dee dabu da. Dabu dee dabu da. Shut up right now. Okay, The Hunger Games is not a waste of money, people. Go sit and go enjoy the movie. Go get your bag of popcorn and your fried rice or whatever and enjoy the movie. Yep, because they're going to be enjoying the money you bet you pay to get in. Fucking 3D movie tickets these days cost $12. I went to see Thor, and it cost like 12 bucks. Why the hell would you go to see Thor? Oh, crap. The hourglass is there. Okay, there it is. Why the hell would you go to see Thor? Because Thor was a good movie. 
Amen. Better than your movie, Batman in the Dark. Batman Begins. That movie sucked. No, it did not. Oh, wait. No, I'm not thinking about Batman Begins. I'm thinking about Batman and Robin. Okay, you got me there. There's nothing I can really say about that. Oh, yes. Batman and Robin. The eternal middle finger to good cinema. <laughs> They just took everything that was good about Batman, the first movie with the Joker, ripped it up, and took the wad of paper and made the list on, and just shoved it up their asses. Because they obviously didn't care much about it. Or maybe they raped it wearing a giant clown mask. Will you shut up about that? I said that one time because I was fucking pissed. Mitachi mm, likes to wear a clown mask while he masturbates. That's disgusting, Gar. Did you even hear yourself talk? I hear myself talk all the time. My voice is so sexy that I that I actually masturbate and listen to it. Uh, what? That was a joke. If you take that seriously, I will sand cuff in your face off. How would that work? Um, I, I always record the dying squeals of children and listen to that as I go to sleep at night. You may listen to your water or your railroads or your summer nights on that little thing up there. You know what I'm talking about, the thing that plays nature sounds for people that are high stress? Yeah, I listen to children's squeals. Ah, mommy, help me, they shriek as I insert my Nakunai knife into their vagina. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just just shut up, man. I like that. I like this crap. It's fun. Oh, yeah, this is real fun. So the Hunger Games 2 is a real piece of crap. Don't waste your time on it. Yes, if you waste your time on the Hunger Games Catching Fire Part 2, I will personally give a call to Kim Jong-un and he will come blow up your house. With missiles! So, fear the missiles, bitch!